pro-vaccine senator dies after receiving flu shot. The 47-year-old pro-vaccine senator was healthy before the influenza vaccine, according to doctors. He was an advocate for flu shots, and had been promoting a local flu shot clinic on Twitter moments before his death. Jose Peralta was taken to Elmhurst Hospital Center in Queens, New York after becoming disoriented following a two-week illness, which he said began after receiving the flu shot. Reports, Mr. Peralta, a Democrat, lost his re-election bid in September after serving eight years in the state Senate representing neighborhoods in Jackson Heights, Corona, Elmhurst, East Elmhurst, and portions of Woodside and Astoria. A member of a Democratic group that caucused with Republicans, Mr. Peralta was defeated by Jessica Ramos, an insurgent from his own party riding a progressive wave. He was set to leave office at the end of December. Mr. Peralta was first elected to the state Senate in 2010 in a special election, defeating Hiram Montserrat, who was expelled from the Senate after being convicted of assaulting his companion. As a lawmaker, Mr. Peralta was a champion of the DREAM Act, legislation that would allow undocumented immigrants to qualify for college tuition assistance. He also introduced bills to legalize hoverboards in the city and to extend the time that speed cameras are used in school zones. Mr. Peralta, a resident of Queens for three decades, began his political career there as a community liaison to the State Assembly, the legislature's lower house. He went on to win a seat in that body and served there for eight years. Mr. Peralta's campaign to become Queens Borough President was derailed in 2013 when he was recorded by a state legislator in her role as an informant for the Federal Bureau of Investigation. The legislator, Shirley L. Huntley, was under investigation for corruption and hoped that cooperating with the FBI by recording public officials